and welcome to my second Spooky Box Club unboxing of tonight of the year. The second one I've done this year. Honestly, I am so excited to be just like back here sitting down filming. It has been literally a year. No, it's 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 the first time this year I've actually sat down and filmed. And even though today's been a hella busy day at school, when I saw that notification for Spooky Box, I was like, yo, I need to sit down and film tonight. I need to know what's in there. Straight away, little did I know that two boxes were coming. I've just done the first box. It was amazing. I'm gonna move this shoe because it's a bit of a spoiler in case you just ordered the Lady Dracula one um, and so you're like waiting for that one but you wanna watch the other one. So this one is box, whoa, I nearly dropped it. 57 and it is Wicked Wonderland. When I saw this theme just half an hour or so ago, it definitely made me think of Simply Spooky. I'm wondering if she perhaps ordered this because I know she's like big into Alice in Wonderland. I too love Alice in Wonderland. Um, I don't really have much Alice in Wonderland stuff, but, but I was born in the town that Lewis Carroll wrote Alice in Wonderland in. So I think that's kind of, you know, my claim to fame in life. Um, so yes, I do have quite a good <sighs> spiritual connection with Lewis Carroll. I've been to like lots of his writing places, the statues and stuff of Alice Wonderland, I was looking through the looking glass and all this stuff. Um, so yes, been to Lewis Carroll's grave, love the guy. I wonder if this is about Alice in Wonderland. I'm guessing it is because of the Wonderland thing, but I'm sure there's other wind, there's like Winter Wonderland in London, which I don't recommend really. Um, now I'm thinking of Netherland. Anyway, let's open this up. The stick is actually reminding me more of Winter Wonderland than Alice in Wonderland, because um, it does have like a Christmas tree snow scene. I mean, it was this time last year that um, it snowed um, in England, so I guess it is kind of fitting and it is still absolutely freezing cold. Um, but Christmas is gone, like I'm kind of done with winter now, I'm like living for spring. Um, so let's see, very light box, but you know, good things come in light packages sometimes. So this is how it looks inside. Oh, it feels like there was lots of like little things moving in there. So oh, I found the cheat sheet. So cringe, the first thing I can feel is tea. Ugh, I literally get so bored of their teas. Um, I like the idea of it, I like the concept of it. If you're a big tea drinker, maybe you'd like it. I'm a big tea drinker, but I like PG tips. I like a good British morning tea. Um, not so much like a herbal flowery tea. Um, so I guess if you like that, that's great. Um, it feels like tea, I'm pretty sure it's tea. Yep, it's tea. This is herbal hibiscus tea, rich in vitamin C, which is pretty good because I know there's a lot of colds going on right now, and antioxidants, caffeine free. So I always just give this to my mum because she's more adventurous when it comes to tea. Um, but there's a the tea, I'm gonna open it because last time I opened it, there was little ghosts inside. Um, this time, ooh. It's like really big red flakes, like proper, like a whole flower head in here. It's not kind of the look of your conventional tea leaves, um, but I'm sure that they will be interesting and hopefully tasty. It did give us a really good tea strainer, like last month I think it was. I actually have used mine for something different. Um, where I have my tortoise in my room, my tortoise eats fruit, which means I get loads of fruit flies, which is so annoying. But they do not like the smell of cloves and I think it's ginger, I can't quite remember. Maybe thyme as well. But basically I made a concoction of different herbs and I put them in my little tea strainer and I dangled it and I've just dangled it next to his vivarium and it's got rid of the fruit flies. So, you know, it has other purposes other than tea straining. Um, next up, oh, okay, something squishy. It feels like a pair of socks, which I guess would go with the wintry theme. Perhaps socks. I can see something white here. Oh, <laughs> gloves. These are quite cute. They're very like simple. What? Oh, the bows are at the top. No, what? Oh. No, they're not. Oh, that, uh, it's just because the thumb. Which way round does the thumb go? <laughs> on this one, the thumb is up. 
thumb is down. I think these are little like hand warmers. I, I guess you can choose, can you, where you want to put the thumb. It's got like a little black velvety bow on one side and then a moon, a crescent moon um, stitch into it. So there's not much stretch on that side, but more stretch on that side, so like that. Oh yeah, probably like that because that's quite cute. Although like the moon is a bit crazy, but that's quite cute. It's almost like the moon was added on. Let's try doing it the opposite way on the other hand. Definitely not that way. It definitely go that way with the moon. No, yeah, the moon would definitely be on your palm because you wouldn't have the bows underneath your your hand, would you? These are quite helpful though. Um, I'm not really sure about like the the moons. Maybe I just have thick hands. Um, but the bows are quite cute, and then it's got like little thumb holes. I do like a good fingerless glove. Not quite a fingerless glove, but a fingerless like mitten. I'd call this. But this is quite handy because it means like my rings don't get caught. Um. <laughs> Yeah, it does mean it's easier to do stuff, and they are very toasty. I just don't really know about this moon thing going on. I guess they could be like, eyes. Hello? Those are there. <laughs> um, but overall, I do like them. They're nice and warm. They're quite tight, but I'm sure they'll loosen up with time. But I do have quite, like, chunky hands. Maybe that's why. But I think, like, I think they're cute. I like the little bows. It's definitely adds something to it. They are really warm, though, so I'm going to have to take them off. But... Those are cute, little hand warmers. Definitely goes with the winter theme. Although I won't need hand warmers for too much longer, hopefully. Um, okay, another black box. Sounds like a necklace or a bracelet. So far, the jewelry that's come in these boxes has been stainless steel. We got um, something in the last box that was stainless steel, which I did like, but something I won't wear. Um, so hopefully, this will be empty box no it's obviously caught behind looks like a necklace a necklace with no oh there you go a necklace with a coffin charm a very long necklace very nice and dainty i probably will wear this um i would assume probably <sighs> spoiler alert right now um the in the last box we got earrings that matched this little um coffin shape pendant it's just a reflective silver and they are quite thick the chain is very thin i'm not sure whether this chain is also going to be stainless steel but it is a very big chain which i'm very thankful for because um i already have enough necklaces that are uh, short shorter necklaces um i've got a bat around here somewhere um so if i wear this on the biggest I just put it over my head. Oh, I can just put it over my head. How exciting. This just goes over my head, and even on that like short one, it's still longer than all my other ones. So this is really cute. I may wear this for a bit. Um, but yeah, if that stain is still, hopefully it won't break. What I could do alternatively is put this on like a big clip earring, like the earrings which are like they made the bone one and the skull one out of. Um, but that's really cute, quite dainty. I love the fact that it's on a longer chain. This is the shortest that this chain will go. Um, so I guess it gives you like a few more wearing options. And usually they give us like 18, 16, 18 inch chain. So it's a nice chain to get one a lot longer. Okay, next up in here is... Ooh, something big in fabric. Uh, it feels like a hat. I'll place all my money on betting that this is a hat to match. Yep, yeah, it is a big pom pom hat. Really cute. I don't know if it's pom pom hat weather yet or still, but this is really nicely made. It's wow, it's fleece lined, which is amazing. Nice um, kind of knit fabric on the outside, a big pom pom, um, and then this gorgeous um, moon that's been embroidered into it. So it feels quite small, it looks quite small. So we'll see if it will fit the chunk of my head okay it does fit it is it is snug but <laughs> i look like an actual egg it is snug but it is also cute if i did something right with my hair it's a nice quality it is quite um it's quite tight i just wear it more like that Ugh. yeah i have to obviously wear this with the correct um 
style. But this is cute. It definitely feels quite small though. Um, I'm tempted to sell this, even though it's really nice quality. Like maybe sell sell the hat. But this bit is also like foldable, so you can make it longer um, or shorter. And because it is um, embroidered, it's on both sides. And that's really nice. I have to, I can't really fault them on the quality of that. It feels lovely quality. I love the like inside material as well. Just maybe would have benefited for me maybe being like an inch bigger, but general struggles. Um, then we've got a card, something we haven't got yet this year. It's a calendar, so perhaps a calendar. Yeah, so predictable, Sweet Book Club. Um, I had this calendar in my um, teacher planner, the, well, the 2019 one, and I never touched it once. I never looked at it once. So what I'll probably do is just chuck these together, and then whoever has this hat can get a lovely calendar. A uh, bit of a, yeah, something I'm not going to use. And the last thing in here is a pin. God, it's a big pin. It's only got one pin back though, so hopefully it's got a good centre of gravity. Um, maybe a jumper? No. Oh! Mm. This is a bit late. This is one... This is a time when Spookbox Club doesn't quite work. <laughs> so this is the Seasons Greeting pin. It's a skull, which I really like, but then it has like a holly and berries and mistletoe kind of thing going on. Lots of snowflakes, lots of Christmas vibe coming from this, not gonna lie. Um, I reckon this was the box that was meant to come in December and we are now on the 28th of January. <laughs> so yeah, Spookbox Club. I like this pin, but it's a little bit late, love. Nevertheless, we never leave a pin unstabbed. So, let me grab my this. I do have other holly and berry pins. I've got this one here that's like black holly and red berries. Obviously red berries are fine. Um, that was from Mr. Kamaluna last Christmas. I don't think Mr. Kamaluna gave us very particularly Christmas pins this year, which I'm totally fine with, because. Christmas is, I love Christmas. I do like to snuggle up to watch a Christmas film next to a Christmas tree by a roaring fire, um, but I will be wearing my bat onesie and using a spooky pumpkin mug. So yeah, I'm not like the biggest fan of Christmas ever, um, but I mean, I definitely got into it more this year because of the kids at school. Um, but yeah, this still has a skull on it, so I guess it's not like the end of, end of all days. And Oh, I just dropped a pin and it fits in nicely down here with like my I've got like white I've got like a Miss Luna skull with like green gems and then I have my white skull with holly berries <laughs> but yeah it fits in quite nicely there although now there's like this random circular gap in the middle so yeah that's filling up nicely it's so like side heavy now I just need to start I think I'm gonna start putting them like down the actual side itself and then I may have to invest <laughs> in a bigger board and transfer the I can't decide if I should just transfer them all onto a bigger board or start a new board that board is pretty like beaten up to be honest so maybe and maybe a new one okay so the cheat sheet is over here let's see we have the oh I didn't get a lollipop so we had the Mysterious Moon Mittens, the Cozy Pom Pom Hat, the Seasons Creeping Enamel Pin, the Calendar, the Coffin Necklace, which is stainless steel, the Herbal Hibiscus Tea Sampler, and a lollipop. But there's no lollipop. I have been conned. I hope it wasn't a good one. Um, so yes, that is the box. Definitely prefer the box I opened before. <sighs> It's always a risk when you get two boxes on the same day because I feel like you're bound to compare the two. If I got this box like on its own, I probably would have been really happy with like the gloves and the hat because of the box it just had being so amazing before this. Definitely like didn't quite meet the same standard in my opinion. I think the pin let it down a lot because the pin is obviously Christmas themed. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give it six out of ten bats 
so as always i'll leave all the information that you need down below as to how to subscribe as always i just want to warn you if you are going to subscribe and you have not come across the spooky box club procedure before you basically pay on the 13th of every month now if you are pre-ordering or starting the subscription it's going to take you like three or four months before you even see your first box that's not a scam it's not scamming you basically you pay for a box and then it takes them three or four months to then make that box because it's not like ready when you pay unless you're buying a previous box like unless you're buying a box that's already been released um so say i bought a box and now i wouldn't see it until february march april probably april may you wouldn't see it until so it's quite a long wait um if you are subscribing obviously you will then have paid each month so you're gonna have paid four lots um of however much it is for me it's 25 pounds a month so you would have paid a hundred pounds already before you actually received anything but oh, myself in the face. but after that like you'll get a box each month and a payment each month and then when you unsubscribe so then say you unsubscribe now in january you would still get a box in like february march april may like you still get like the pre-standing boxes that you've paid for and because you're always paying like four months in advance if you think once you unsubscribe you'll still get sort of like four boxes to come i know that ashley o'neill has recently unsubscribed but i assume that she'll probably still be getting some boxes unless she unsubscribed like four months ago but i think she's only recently unsubscribed so that's why like on her channel you'll probably see a few more unboxings coming through still just because they are like the back payment ones um and then once she's like no longer paid it'll, it'll stop basically um but I just thought I'd warn you that because I know it's a bit of like an off-putting thing I think to begin with especially when it's like four months is literally such a long time it's like a third of a year um but once it gets going it's amazing I've been getting Spooky Box Club for about five years now so like I love it I don't even bother looking at the themes anymore I just see what turns up um but yeah I like this box wasn't my favorite box definitely if you haven't checked it out check out the other video I will try and remember to link it down below that box so good so thank you very much for watching if you do have any craft comments please leave them down below if it's sunny where you are i hope you're enjoying the shade i hope you had a spectacular new year and i will see you next time bye